spring practice is back. It feels good to be back into the groove. Norvell spoke yesterday, and maybe he doesn't feel like some of the players are maybe back into the groove, but I think some of that is coach speak. He said that he saw a few things in yesterday's practice of being a little kind of off, up and down, but you know, you saw some guys making some plays and um, maybe there were some things that he saw that I didn't, but I didn't see too much of a major change from the pe previous practices, but it is expected. You know, James, with coming back from spring break, you know, things are going to look a little sloppy, definitely after a full week off, no workouts, uh, yada, yada, yada. So it's not too crazy of a shocker there, but, you know, we got to see uh, a good start of spring camp, in my opinion. I think there's a lot of emphasis on also bringing visitors in to watch. I know Norvell talked about it yesterday, too, about, you know, they want to run these practices in the afternoon. So then a lot of these schools, a lot of these coaches, these camp, these um these trainers can come in, bring their players and uh, show, show the practices to them. So um, overall, the, the kind of emphasis on recruiting has been gigantic. James, you saw it yesterday. I mean, it had to have been two, two bus, two buses, three buses of recruits that seemed to be on campus. It was almost more than what we saw on the first day of spring practice. Um, I mean, it was absolutely craziness yesterday, but um, you know, I don't think really, out of yesterday, nothing too crazy stand outish. I mean, you got to see Greedy Vance with another interception, who I thought had a slower start to spring. And now, hello, there's 21. He's kind of a gnat. And you talked about, I think, on the spaces yesterday, James, about he's a smaller guy, but he's just kind of just gets in your face. He's chirpy. And he kind of reminds me of how Asante Samuel Jr. was his second year going into that spring where just kind of, you know, talkative gets in your ear wins the reps and you know he caught one which would he probably would have taken back for six he probably had a better view of that on the sideline james but um you know guys like jared verse continuing to make plays daughtry richardson i saw make two really good back-to-back -back reps um against a defensive end and uh you know things got chirpy and you know that's football i don't uh, that's how it sh that's how it should be in unless it's a little over the top but you know it was chirpy after one rep, and then what does Coach Atkins and Odell Higgins do? We run it back again, and those guys got after it, but Daughtry Richardson won both of his reps. I think he's been a star of that freshman group.